You say that a call to war, a call to the streets, what do you mean exactly? It means like during apartheid, when we knew who was the enemy, 2024 and the outcome of these elections and the assembling of the executive, we now know that uh, who the enemy of the people are. The enemy of the people is Mr. Salam, Salam Ramaphosa and his friends in the DNA Freedom Front Plus. And it will now be easy to confront the enemy head on because this is a war that we need to confront and we shall respond to it accordingly. I say the pressure came from? At the deployment of uh, Mayor Nji Moseh. Where would you say the pressure came from as you say he was under pressure? Well, of course, he's under the pressure of the Rupert and the Open Emmas who have made Mr. Sarah Ramaphosa who must fulfill uh, the, the undertaking and promises he made to them when he was still young. Mr. Tenali Kota is on record on explaining how Mr. Ramaphosa at the very early age of his life uh, was an, an enabler, a puppet, an agent of imperialism who worked with the apartheid government. So with this kind of uh, decision he has made, we're not surprised, we're not shocked. All what we're saying is that the EFF says it will assume and take its opposition benches in parliament and ensure that it holds the executive of Mr. Senator Ramaphosa accountable. Lastly, lastly, the EFF calls on all South Africans to regard this cabinet as nothing else but, but as an attack on all the working class poor people of this country and the AFF shall mobilize our people to take the picketing lines because this is a call to war, this is a call to occupy streets. At least once and for all we know where our enemy is, the enemy can be described and the enemy can now be engaged directly in all fronts, in streets, in picketing lines and everywhere else. You including said well, the, the ANC of Mr. Ramaphosa today must not be seen as different from Mobutu Sesseko of Zaire, the most reactionary who enabled the looting and the pillaging of the resources of Zaire by Western imperialist forces. Mr. Ramaphosa is an enabler of right-wing Zionist forces in this country and have rendered South Africa as nothing else but a new colonial enclave, a launching pair, and a base for expansion of imperialism in Africa. And that's how the continent of Africa must treat the ANC and Mr. Ramaphosa going forward. Ramaphosa has taken the black vote and given racist whites power led by Helen Zillet. It's sad that you know, an organization that ought to be progressive like the ANC is not engaging with progressive parties like Nkondo, Caesar and the EFF. So we can have a two-third majority to transform this country. Why does it take the black vote? And that's what members of the ANC ought to be asking themselves. And black South Africans have voted for Sarah Ramaphosa's ANC. And I know some of them wanted to vote for the ANC, but they've turned out to realize that they've actually given it to a, to a sellout. And he's selling us out. He's selling us out to whites who are racist. So we should be asking ourselves, what kind of a leader actually goes and uh, engages with racist whites as opposed to engaging with uh, NK?